Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi, and welcome back to our second backtracking back back extravaganza super, super ultra, ultra awesome, awesome monster, monster truck, truck awesomeness. awesomeness. Okay. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lots of letter delivering this episode, so a lot of, yeah, letter delivering. This letter quest starts off as a big giant fishing trip that everyone wishes to take, and everyone in this group of people knows, which is nice to know. And for right now, I want to pick up the all or nothing. Not to switch the topic immediately, but all or nothing is a power plus badge that takes two less badge points. Consequently, hello, it has one little perk about it. If you miss your action command, you go boink on the enemy and do no damage. Give this guy back his mailbag. Get a star piece. Okay, let's start off with our letter quest. First letter in our letter quest will go to this toad. Mr. Goompapa. So in this toad, and Mr. Goompapa. Nice diversity there. A uh, Goomba, a toad, and now a Koopa. Yeah. Because I got a concrete plan in place, I am going here and gave myself a Goomba. I'll need it. And while I'm here, I might as well pick up my next chore from the old rag. I shouldn't call him an old rag. I should respect the elderly more. And let's sell something, because I'll need one more lot in my items. And don't need the vault shroom at all. Those are useless to me. Okay. Letter to this Koopa here. It says, a Goomba, a Toad, and a Koopa on a fishing trip. So let's give him this letter and hope it's all done and over with. Oh no, he was just about to send a letter to the post box too. Okay. It's a friend of mine who's always fishing, so we now have a Goomba, a Toad, a Koopa, and a person who's always fishing. Hey Chuck Quizmo, I want to run into you right now, and that was a good time to run into you a lot. Okay, <clears throat> let's answer his quiz question. Question? Uh, one. I say that with complete certainty, because I've gotten trapped up on that question so many times when I initially played through this game that I know that question. That answer is like burnt into the back of my head. Okay, let's take care of some more things while we're in Toad Town. I have a letter to this guy too, but it's not part of our letter quest. It's instead a letter to the scaredy cat Toad who guards uh, Forever Forest. I just thought of something. That's his job, to guard Forever Forest. He has some kind of boss, I assume, unless he's self-employed. But if he isn't self-employed and he has a boss or a manager, how do you get hired? As I said before, I think he may be self-employed. But if he is self-employed, how is he getting his money? I mean, how do you get money by just guarding a place? Maybe he's subsidized from the Mushroom Kingdom government. Anywho, reading the news, Mario has trounced some shy guys. And we also have to read the back or else that doesn't count. And it's a message from Kent C. Koopa. We'll be seeing him soon enough. Okay. <clears throat> to the guy who, quote, always fishes. The guy who always fishes. <clears throat> okay. Most definitely talks with a weird slur, that's for sure. Fishing hick is the way I like to describe him. He has no name, though. I don't know if he's even a legal resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. He might be an illegal immigrant. I don't even know what species he is. Look at him. It's a big, fat blob of something. Yay, I want to talk to you, Chuck Quizmo. <coughs> That is the Goomba King.
talking to this Koopa here again. A fishing trip with a Goomba, a Toad, a Koopa, and an illegal immigrant. I probably shouldn't say that. Anyway, that's it with the fishing quest, if I remember correctly. This letter here starts off a shopping quest, actually, to Mr. E. How in the world did he get the name Mr. E, come to think about it? Every single E I know is a doctor. Dr. E. Dr. E. Actually, uh, there's something I want to take care of there. Fudge. I read the news. I want to tell uh, Koopa Koot the news before I forget about it. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. I don't know if Mario ever forgets the news, like if you read the news and then you come back to him like two chapters later and you still remember the news. I don't know. That's, that's something I should ponder. Here is Mr. E, adequately named Mr. E instead of Dr. E. I suppose. I guess that toad's not evil. His occupation is taking care of people's orders, and he has a letter all ready for me for uh, somebody who's chatting at the dojo. While I'm here, let's uh, curse myself again. It's a good curse, though. Okay. I would love to have an occupation where I get money by just giving away magical services. That would be wonderful. Okay, to the Traveling Sisters, where I have to uh, now just give a letter to this toad here, Misty. In case you didn't know, those uh, three toads here, they like traveling to the places that you just conquered and are... Yeah, exactly. Anyway, she has an order to the shop in uh, Dry Dry Outpost, so... Let's make sure she gets her order in a timely fashion. Send the letter as soon as possible. While we're here, we're going to want to pick up some dried pasta and uh, talk to this guy. He is the owner of the shop. We have an order for you. Mmm, lemonade. Even limeade would be good right now. I'm thirsty now. Ooh, there we go. Chuck Quizmo. Thank goodness. You're hiding from me. Blue. <laughs> Okay, I'm going back to Toilet Town because we now have everything we need to get some items we'll need when I have to take care of some Koopa Koot favors. First off is the Goom Nut. Cook it by itself and you get a cake. I love how you could cook a nut with nothing else and get a cake. Wonderful. Oh, fudge. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> that could have been disastrous. There we go. Wanted to cook the pasta on a leaf so we get a good spaghetti. Spaghetti! Or coup pasta. Before we give a letter to Frankie, I, uh, need one more item for uh, Koopa Koots. Thank goodness I prepared for all this. He asked for a life shroom. He, those valuable mushrooms that keep you alive when you're nearly dead. And all I gotta say is, oh my gosh, I gotta buy you an expensive life shroom, you Urgh. old Koopa. Letter to Frankie. It's 
and got a catalog from the guy in the desert. And uh, he has a letter all ready to... <sighs> I just realized something. That Boo just wrote a letter. That Boo just wrote a letter. That implies that Boos are able to write. Okay. In any case scenario, I am over time here, so I will see you next time on Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi.